Welcome, welcome to the home office in the JF-17 Thunder. Today we will discuss something a bit more basic, but I'll try to hide my contempt for it regardless. We are going to engage targets with the inboard gun that the JF-17 carries. Now, the gun doesn't really work the same way as it does on the Hornet and the Viper. It has to be actively selected uh, before it can be fired. And when you have it selected, you also need to click the feed button. And the reason you need to do this is because the JF-17 does in essential have a MiG-21 cannon. Essentially, the Chinese just decided that, hey, we got a bunch of uh, MiG-21 cannons over, so we'll just put them in the JF-17. This was not a good decision. The reason for this is that the MiG-21 cannon is essentially ancient and having to actively select the gun and then feed it a cartridge, uh, a cartridge that might fail, I might add, um, is not really my idea of a modern fighter jet. It's more like the what I would expect from one of the MiG-21 clones they were producing, like the J-7 or the J-8. Those I would really like for DCS, by the way. But the thing is, you will not know if your gun works until you actually fire it. And you can forget stuff that you can do in, for example, the Hornet, where you can, for example, just do snapshots. That doesn't really work with the JAF-17. Uh, regardless if you at are attacking ground targets or air targets, your primary concern is going to be just selecting the gun. And this makes it really, really tricky to use in terms of um, quickly appearing air targets. Uh, so we are going to engage some uh, barrage balloons over Dunkirk here. And we are currently locked in without a radar mode. You can fire the gun with locked with radar, but that is not really far for the course here. We've hit the target. Good hit on the target. Barrage balloons are really thankful as gun targets for this reason. It's very easy to see if you hit them or not. I mean, that is very clear. The second thing you need to know about the gun is that it doesn't really have that much ammunition. Just around 150 rounds. But I'm taking that from memory, so don't take it all too seriously. Uh, but at any rate, your ammunition reserves for the gun are really, really low. And considering that the JF-17 is actually a quite decent air combat fighter, I always found that to be a little bit strange. I mean, sure, it's nice to push the feed button rather than having to do any other method of uh, verifying that the cartridge is active, but either way, so if your gun doesn't fire and you have clicked the gun and then the feed button, until it blinks, well, then your cartridge has failed. And believe me when I say they will fail on you. They won't fail on you in times like this, when you're just booting up the mission editor to make sure that you have learned what you need to learn. They will fail on you when you most need the gun. Because that is the way shit works. So, we're gonna go in for third times the charm on one of these targets. And we are going to line it up. And it's a hit. And we are out of here. Now, I'm fairly certain you did not watch this 
because you want to know how to use the gun. I'm fairly certain you know how to use the gun. You all just watched this just to hear me rant about the gun, didn't you? Just confess it in the comments and we'll be over with this. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Have a good day.